Hello, we're gonna do a tarot for funsies reading. We're talking to the orcas. Well, maybe not to them, but we're gonna talk about them. So let's see what's going on with the orcas in the ocean or whatever, you know, like we all know what's going on. The orcas are tipping boats and like attacking and I'm trying not to laugh, but yeah, like basically I just keep wanting to tell people just leave the ocean alone. Like they're, they're, I did a reading in the past about like underground bunkers and I asked if there was something in the ocean and yeah, if you want to see that one, it's in, I think like the current event playlist, which I am going to be renaming current event tarot for funsies because I like that word a lot now. Um, so these are my questions for our tarot reading today. What are the orcas telling us? Um, the energy around uh, describing the consciousness of the or orcas, what's going on with them, what can we know about that? Um, what prompted the new activities against boats? What message do they have for humans and potential outcomes of ocean life? Those are the questions. It's four questions. This should be pretty short. Um, there's like, my dog passed in 2020. Why is there still dog hair flying, flying everywhere? All right, let's get into it. If you're new to the channel, hi, hello, my name is Melissa and I like to do random tarot readings on silly subjects, um, but I also do witchy unboxing videos and other metaphysical topics like manifestation and crystals and uh, that kind of stuff. So that's your vibe. Stick around. See if you uh, see if you want to subscribe. Ah, it's up to you. All right. Let's talk about the orcas. Okay, four of wands jumped out. All right, we'll see about that. All right, first question. Uh, what is the energy around or um, describing the consciousness of the orcas though? So I like to do these readings um, like pretty nuanced, I guess is how somebody mentioned it in my comments a while back. Like they like the, the nuance of it. I like to look at the why and not just like what's gonna happen. I don't use tarot to predict the future necessarily, just to get the energy that's like kind of beneath the surface. That's that's what I like tarot for. So um, that's what we're going to do. All right, what is the energy? I'm gonna shuffle again because I started talking. What is the energy around the consciousness of the orcas specifically that are doing the boat tipping? That's me cutting. All right, three cards. Uh -huh, the tower, which was on the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling, and I put that card back. Fucking interesting. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that so early in the video. Are we past a minute? Yeah, we're like almost three minutes. Okay. I shouldn't get deemed for that. All right. So I feel like... Okay, so the consciousness around the... Like, let's describe the consciousness of the orcas. What's going through their, like brain what is their consciousness like what is their vibe right now like that is kind of like prompting all of this I mean that's a separate question but like what is their what is their consciousness what is their energy right now we have the tower which is like um a sudden change so either something changed for them or they're trying to trigger change um and I feel like it's more the latter and because of the four of wands here, which is um, like stability and, and it says celebration as a keyword in this deck. Um, but I see that. Uh, yes, I see that as well. Um, just because it, it's like reminiscent of like a like an arch or um, I know there's uh, I am not in this faith, but there's like a, a hoppa or something like that, that um, that is used for ceremonial um uh, events in, in, I believe the Jewish faith. So, um, I, I do see that coming through there, but, um, I, I get more of like a stability or, um, and with this path in the background, I'm getting like, they're like a stable path. And I feel like maybe there's like trying to shake things up. Like the tower card is about shaking things up and they're literally like tipping boats here. So, um, and funny, the water spilling out in this nine of cups, they're trying to make the ocean better. Like they, I think <laughs> they're, they just want to survive. They want to have peace and fulfillment and they want to be able to just thrive and I feel like they've got to like tip the scales a little bit more in their favor is kind of what the energy is here like they're just trying to be at peace um, and sometimes you have to shake things up sometimes things have to crumble to the ground in order to create that peace and I feel like that's where they're kind of their their uh, their energy the energy of the orcas right now is like um, leave us alone or else 
Um, we're going to show you how powerful we are. We just want to be left alone um, to be with our, our, you know, our families or whatever. Um, but yeah, like interesting with all of the water spilling here as well because um, of the boat tipping. Uh, heavy water energy with that nine as well. Um, fulfillment, good keyword. Um, I, I just feel like they're, they're just trying to live their life and, and do their thing. And um, like maybe this is more the they feel a disruption uh, from the boats, like the, the boats are disrupting their peace. So that could be another way to interpret their energy here. Let's, I'm gonna leave those out. I think that's kind of funny that that four popped out and then it, you know, showed back up when I pulled cards. All right, so let's, next question, what prompted the new activities against the boats? Was there an event? What happened? Um, what has prompted um, the orcas to start taking action? against, you know, human watercraft. Because I, I don't think that this is like the end of it and I don't think it's just gonna be boats either, but that's just me recognizing a pattern. Um, what prompted it? Okay, Princess of Cups jumped out. I'm gonna put her back in. Um, this could be dreams. Uh, this also talks about, this is like the, the uh, um, oh my gosh, page energy, uh, page energy for water of course for the cups um so this could be uh, like something new uh youth comes to mind so i'm gonna put that back i'm not gonna actually like kind of like go in depth on that because that's not what we're doing um, i don't do jumpers or reversals or any of that crazy stuff uh, i mean it's not crazy if you do it that's that's great for you i don't uh, there are 78 cards each with their own meanings and multiple meanings for each cards i don't need to add to it that way. Anyway, uh, so what prompted the new activities against human watercrafts by the Lucas? Okay, that was gonna go on top anyway. So now we have the High Priestess, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Okay, um, so the High Priest. Okay, that's funny. Um, the High Priestess is right below the tower, the two, there are two major arcana cards, so this is like a big deal. Um, this is not like everyday drama, this is like um, shifting kind of energy, like big, big deal energy. Um, the High Priestess is a secret keeper. So um, in, in my intuition, my interpretation of the card, um, not just about intuition, um, which is like the typical uh, go-to kind of I feel a little generic um meaning for the card but I this is more of like the secret keeper this is the person um that uh knows things and knows when to reveal things uh so yeah I feel like that there's not almost like a you don't get to know when I get the high priestess especially when I'm asking a question like what happened like um you, you don't need to know right now divine timing will come into play um but we also have it with this ten of swords um, so despair is the keyword that they've provided. Um, ten of Swords is like like end of suffering um, or is like extreme suffering, but the Ten being the end of a cycle as well. Um, and then the Four of Swords, rest. So um, I, I, I feel like there was something kind of harmful that was done. Swords in general, the sword energy is um, like not, I don't want to say negative, but swords energy do usually come about with when there's like pain, trauma, um, that sort of thing. It's, it's like, like, but okay. So yeah. So pain kind of comes into play, especially with the 10 of swords. Um, I feel like there was an event, not anything that, um, will be specifically revealed. Um, but, uh, and I'm also getting pretty calm energy from these though as well. I mean, it's it's pain, but I always see this as like the end of suffering um, because I, I like that numerology that comes in with that 10 of swords as well. Like there's, there's um, a great deal of suffering, but it's also um, the end of that at the 10. So um, what happened? I feel like there was something painful that happened. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's something painful um, that we didn't, that we don't know about that um, is kind of unseen uh, with that High Priestess. Um, Four of Swords, Rest, that's like a meditation card for me, the Four of Swords. Um, yeah, and we have another four here as well. So um, that, that kind of stable 
when I get the four of swords, I think meditation. Um, but rest is a good one. Uh, yeah, I think there was something quiet, unseen. Okay, and getting the ripples as well. That feels like there's like a ripple. There Something happened that was, um, I, the word devastating popped into my head. Um, something kind of on the devastating side that caused a ripple. Um, we won't know exactly what that is. Um, it's something that like, you just have to trust, um, trusting guidance is kind of like the message that I'm getting right there from that. But yeah, so, um, what prompted it? I, I feel like something, something painful happened, um, that, that caused a ripple and now they're just like looking for that piece, right? Like, um, what the vibe is up there as well. Very kind of similar. Um, but okay. So what message? So I'm going to put these back and ask the next two questions. What message do the orcas have? Another dog hair. She left her hair. She left her mark, her energy all over this house. All right. I'm going to give a good shuffle since we put those cards back and ask what message do the orcas have for humans <laughs> other than leave the ocean alone or that's my message on behalf of the orcas. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. What message do the orcas have for humans? Oh. Um. I don't like to pull the jumpers, but we're gonna read it and put it back. Justice. Um. Do I need to describe that? That's a justice card. It's a major arcana card. Um, so um, big deal energy, not like everyday BS energy. That's um, just desserts is like what I'm thinking of. Like you kind of get what you get what's coming to you because of what you've, you know, put into play. Um, so yeah, justice card there. Message from the orcas. Justice will be served. All right, I'm going to stick that back in there. Um, a little oh Jesus okay I just want to show you because it landed face up five of discs destitution this is not looking good okay <laughs> I'm just gonna stick that back in there all right what message I'm gonna give it one more shuffle because I added those back in what message do the orcas have for the humans one more and a cut okay Okay, um, Eight of Discs, Eight of Pentacles, uh, The Fool, and um, and The Seven of Wands. Uh, so they're prepared to defend, um, again, with that new beginning, like with the, the tower to the, um, to the Four of Wands, and uh, what was the third card that came out? The Nine of Cups um, is kind of kind of similar that that beginning energy the fool fool um they're trying to start something new they got to shake things up break it break it down um almost literally in order to like get their peace um so i feel like this is the, okay a, a dedication to a new beginning that they are prepared to defend um so uh i guess the message to humans to humanity from the orcas is um we are dedicated to um you know, uh, making our own peace, um, and we are prepared to defend. I'm getting like Aquaman, like the first Aquaman movie vibes from this. Like they're prepared to defend their, um, their honor, basically the seven of wands. They're prepared to take action. That wands is about action. Um, they are not afraid to go, um, oh, am I allowed to put that on here? Nobody report this. Okay. We'll pull these back in a second. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's the message I'm getting from the orcas for the humans. They are, they are dedicated. So, um, yeah, they're willing to put in the work. They're willing to take action, um, in order to create what they are trying to create their own peace there in the ocean. So, um, yeah, that one's just like, um, I feel like that kind of encompasses it. Like try me. This is like try me energy. All right. And the last question, potential outcome for the ocean, ocean life, 
life forms in the ocean, those that we know about and those that we don't, because I'm telling you, the ocean is its own flipping planet. Leave the ocean alone. All right, what can we predict or potential outcome for ocean life? Potential outcome for ocean life. What does the potential outcome look like for ocean life? Two cards? I'm feeling two cards. That's all we're gonna need. Whoop. Uh, Ace of Cups. Oh, what the fuck? Ace of Cups and the Three of Cor Swords. Th those do not go together. <laughs> Love and sorrow. Um, so what I'm getting from the, okay, I get it. That's why it was only two cards. Balance, balance. This is balance and energy. Love and sorrow. This is like all about heart and like the, the, the heart, not the physical heart, but like the heart centered energy. So the future, uh, the potential outcome, not one gonna predict the future I don't do that um, but the potential outcome for ocean life is balance this is about balance the ace of oh, that's why I was like this do not go together um, because it's it's about showing that balance so yeah um, the potential outcome as long as we leave the ocean alone um, it will be just like balance for the creatures of the ocean um, they will have good and they will have bad but they will have that on their terms and in divine balance so that's an interesting I've never had those two come out together like that and I kind of love it I kind of want to put that on a shirt or something it's it's like very beautiful energy we have the sky and the water it's like the the above and the below right and also kind of um getting a balance here almost looks like an hourglass getting that that above and below as above so below kind of energy here below the water you can see the reflection of the of the cup there um so yeah getting that like that uh, mirrored energy that reflection um what's beneath the surface is uh, kind of to remain unseen um, in divine balance. And also I feel like it's also kind of given a little energy of um, like what's below the water is going to be balanced with what's above the water because we have like the water and we have the sky here with the air because the swords are um, the air element and the cups are water element. Uh, and then we have like the, you know, the galaxy up here. So it's kind of like really getting like that divine balance as above, so below kind of energy as a potential outcome for ocean life. So that is where I'm going to leave that reading. I really like those two cards together. That was actually like surprising, but then turned out really cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and uh, what do you think about the orcas and the ocean um, and uh, more readings like this? Like, would, like, Give me some suggestions. I would love to read on your silly topics. Um, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Always remember that the magic you seek is within you. Have a blessed day.